agricultural fields, wherever it has freeway access, really easy to come off uh, into this site. Uh, we believe we could work very well with the Department of Veteran Affairs and all the uh, vets who really plan a terrific uh, cemetery right here. Okay. It's a zoning 8.1. We have about 800,000 square feet of R&D. Today we were joined by Governor Brown and Speaker Anthony Rendon to look at two sites in the city of Irvine for a future veteran cemetery. The veteran cemetery evolved out of a group of veterans here in Orange County, the Orange County Veterans Memorial Park group that had been looking to create a veteran cemetery for well over a decade. And as I became a legislator in 2012, uh, I was able to move forward legislation to create a veteran cemetery here in Irvine. It's Sheriff Perkslova who, who uh, has been working on this project for a significant amount of time and, and who has been pushing this in our house and in our caucus and is continually putting this in the front of our agenda. I also want to thank the veterans. Uh, I know how important this is to you. Uh, your uh, commitment to our country says a lot about how you, who you are and the very least that we can do is to make sure that we honor your commitment by making this happen. So thank you. It was uh, exciting to see that now we're in a place as far as a future veteran cemetery in Orange County of not if there will be one, but which site where will there be a cemetery. So both sites are quite different. Uh, one is the original site, the RDA site, and uh, it definitely is suitable, but to clear the site and to make sure we're ready to prepare the site would be quite expensive. Quickly, why we have Sacramento here to get that law passed and get it fixed quick. Well, I'm not opining, I'm listening. Right. The secondary site, which is we're calling the strawberry site, certainly uh, has uh, features that uh, seem to be very conducive to a future veteran site, but uh, we're also wanting to make sure that uh, we uh, put that decision where it should be with the local city council. It was very nice to see many of the veterans that I haven't seen in, in quite a while as uh, we worked closely in 2012 and 2013 and then as I went back to the classroom I was not as involved with uh, part of this process and now to be back at the state here in 2016 and to see many of them it's a little like a reunion. I know many of them and they're very thankful that we're at this stage. I was here a few years ago to look at a possible cemetery site. Now that we have two, it's uh, absolutely certain that uh, Orange County will get the veteran cemetery that it deserves and the veterans deserve for the families of all those, of those whose loved ones uh, go on. It's just an honor that I've had the opportunity to carry the original legislation for a veteran cemetery here in Irvine and uh, now to see the process evolve and to really see that uh, we uh, have the potential to have this cemetery. It's, it's an honor for me and I'm honored to serve our veterans.